For a long time, the traditional partners for trade and military cooperation for most African countries have been Western countries such as France, Italy, and the USA. But then came the wave of coups across the Sahel region, which changed the game and brought in African leaders such as Ibrahim Traore of Burkina Faso and Asimi Goita of Mali. Coming into power, these leaders set out to challenge how things were done, and just a few months into their stay in power, they quickly kicked out the old colonial power and sought out cooperation with other foreign countries that would work with them on an equal footing. Ibrahim Traore, for example, has not only sought relations with other foreign countries such as Iran and Venezuela, but he has also set out to build diplomatic relations with one of the biggest rivals of the West, Russia. On Tuesday, November 7, the Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs of Burkina Faso Kasum Kulibaly met with the Defense Minister of the Russian Federation, Sergei Shoigu, in Moscow, where they agreed to strengthen defense ties. Russia, which has grown more isolated since its war with Ukraine, has in recent months discussed greater military cooperation with Burkina Faso. According to the Russian Defense Minister, Russian Burkinabe relations are based solely on the principles of mutual respect and consideration of each other's interests, and in recent years, they have gained positive dynamics. The Defense Minister of Burkina Faso, Kasum Kulabali, hailed the undergoing negotiations with Russia and called them a real practical phase, while the Defense Minister of Russia stated that he considers the meeting to be another step in the development of friendly relations between the two countries. However, this is not the first meeting the two countries have had to discuss cooperation. On Thursday, August 31st, Burkina Faso welcomed a delegation from Russia in the capital city of Ouagadougou, and the interim president, Ibrahim Traore, discussed possible military cooperation, among other issues. This visit, led by Russian Deputy Defense Minister Yunus Bek Yevkarov, was a follow-up to talks between Traore and Russian President Vladimir Putin at the Russia-Africa Summit in St. Petersburg in July. Military cooperation, technical military cooperation, but also cooperation in the field of the economy, in the field of nuclear energy, are all questions, he said. Following the meeting, the defense minister, Yevkurov, said training for Burkinabe cadets, officers, and pilots in Russia, as well as economic and nuclear energy assistance, were part of the discussions held. We will do our best to help you develop in all these spheres. I have already reminded your president of this. In the field of military cooperation, we will discuss the training format of your cadets and officers of different levels, including pilots, in our country, the minister added. Since the coup that brought Captain Ibrahim Traore into power in September 2022, Burkina Faso has distanced itself from its historic partner and former colonial power, France, and moved to diversify its international partners. In particular, the country has moved closer to Russia. In fact, Ibrahim Traor has reportedly called Russia a strategic ally. In October, Burkina Faso signed a deal with Russia for the construction of a nuclear power plant to increase the energy supply to the Sahel country, where less than a quarter of the population has access to electricity. Russia's state atomic energy agency, Rosatom, said in a statement that, the memorandum is the first document in the field of the peaceful use of atomic energy between Russia and Burkina Faso. It also added that the agreement laid the foundations for cooperation in areas including the use of nuclear energy in industry, agriculture, and medicine. In addition, Moscow has also pledged to deliver free grain to Burkina Faso. This is a clear sign of a budding relationship between the two countries. However, since Burkina Faso chased out French troops in February 2023, the relationship between Burkina Faso and Russia has been brought to the spotlight with the West scared that Burkina Faso's growing relations with Russia would further deepen Russia's ties to Africa. There have also been concerns that Burkina Faso would start working with the Russian mercenary group, Wagner, to deal with the security issues. Ghana's president even said during the U.S.-Africa summit that the military government of Burkina Faso has hired Russian mercenaries to help fight an insurgency in their country and is using a mine to pay them. But the military junta of Burkina Faso, Traore, has denied the allegations, maintaining that it only has a very good relationship with Russia and that Wagner's presence was invented to harm Burkina, so countries would not cooperate with Burkina Faso. Ibrahim Traore has since been hailed for his strategic leadership in Burkina Faso, 
Not only is he concerned about the security of the country, but also the development of the country. He has said that elections in 2024 will not be held until the security issues have been dealt with and that the election will not concentrate only in Uwaga and a few towns around it. Instead, all Burkina Bay must choose their president. It's his care for the peace and development of Burkina Faso, which is why he chose to cut off the relationship Burkina Faso had with France, which does not care for the progress of its former colony, and move it closer to Russia, which is working with Burkina Faso-based, on equal partnership. And, despite facing adversity and multiple twists and turns, the president is determined to successfully lead the transition against imperialism. Regardless of what the West thinks, Russia has something to offer, Burkina Faso. The president himself reiterated this fact during an interview where he emphasized the importance of Burkina Faso's partnership with Russia to achieve true autonomy and avoid being under the control of another master. Speaking of Burkina Faso's former partners, Ibrahim Traore stated that, if we are at war and we have populations that defend themselves and you refuse to sell us what is lethal, you are not our friends. This statement by Traore confirms what the Burkina Faso Minister of Defense, Kasum Koulibaly, explained in an exclusive interview with Sputnik Africa. Koulibaly stated that Burkina Faso used to rely on its traditional partners, particularly France, who imposed their conditions on the country in terms of what military equipment to buy and from whom. He further added that prior to this period, Burkina Faso had a lot of military equipment acquired under unfavorable conditions imposed by its former partners. But, as the country ended the decades-long defense pact with France and kicked their forces out, it's now free to choose its partners in all areas of cooperation, including the military. Addressing the security condition of Burkina Faso, Captain Ibrahim Traore stated that, even if tomorrow we are at 100%, we're always going to protect our roots and escort our traders because it's guerrilla, it's a war. Without lying to you, I have a dream for the soldier and I will tell you clearly. These are people who sacrifice themselves for this homeland, he added. Traor further emphasized the need for African countries to come together to address the security crisis on the continent. He said that if all the countries in Africa had supported Mali when the insurgency crisis first started in 2012, it would not have escalated to what it is today. The same goes for Niger. Instead of waiting for foreign countries to solve African problems, Traor emphasized the need for Africans to do the job themselves. In this way, Western countries would have no right to meddle in the affairs of the continent. Burkina Faso, however, is not the only African country that has chosen to ally with Russia. Mali, Zimbabwe, and Cameroon are among the other African countries that have chosen to ally with Russia despite Western sanctions imposed on them due to the Russian-Ukraine war. So why are African countries such as Burkina Faso choosing to ally with a rival of the West? Well, the simple reason is that Russia, like China, has proven that it does not and will not interfere in the affairs of African countries and will treat them as equal and sovereign partners. This is unlike France, which had a paternalistic and colonial attitude towards Africa. The fact is, the African continent is waking up and its leaders and people have realized that it's possible to break free from the influence of the West. If Western countries like France want to reignite their relationship with Africa, then they have to change their attitude and start acting like Russia and China towards Africa. Burkina Faso is one of the African countries that is on the path to breaking free completely from Western influence, and it will continue to do so unless Ibrahim Traore is removed from power and a Western puppet is installed. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.